What's up, Booty Brigade? Um, I'm going to shoot four different videos about, again, macros, time, cost, and where to start. I'm going to keep it very simple for you and show you exactly how I do it so that it's sustainable. Brought to you by Booty Bands and Barbells. Make sure to check us out because this will be posted on our app, Booty Bands and Barbells, in our Facebook groups, and also our Instagram. See you soon. Bye. All right, today I am doing this video because it has been requested by my booty band members and it has been brought up a lot about not having enough time to get healthy again. And um, I wanted to go ahead and um, go into this topic because I've been there too. I, kn I know exactly what it feels like to want to feel good, to feel healthy, to reach your body goals but you feel like there's just so much of life things just kind of piling down on you. Um, one thing to just keep in mind is that we go through different seasons of our life and to just embrace those seasons as sometimes we're able to be really on our fitness routine and other times we're focusing on something else and we can always go back into that season again by having that routine. So just more focusing on less controlling certain ways that we're pushed and pulled into the flow of life and just focus on the things that you can do better and be 1% uh, better than what you were yesterday, right? So I'm such a believer on being very graceful and gentle to yourself during your fitness journey because there's no such thing as perfect and we're always trying to strive for this ideal goal but sometimes it's really about the journey that we really want to embark on. Really again obviously moving your body is just so helpful it can get you out of depression and in those funks and things like that so it's super important but really how do we find the time? So one thing that I have done is um, what we do is, is being mindful of what we're putting in our head, how long a workout has to be or how long meal prep has to be or anything like that. So in your mind, I want you to ask yourself, how long does a workout have to be to be successful? I really want you to answer that. So if you're saying 45 minutes to an hour, I want you to remember that that's um, a belief that can be put upon you, it might not be as accurate. Can a successful workout mean that you actually got up and moved that day even if it was for 10 minutes? Maybe that 10 minutes put you into a better flow where after you did the workout you chose a domino effect if you chose to eat better, you felt better about yourself. All of this kind of ripple effect in my personal opinion that if we set this expectation that it has to be 45 minutes to an hour to be successful and we say I don't have that long and we never get it done, then it's a domino effect the other way, right? So I made a 90 day no excuses, 10 minute a day challenge, focusing on your mind, your nutrition, on your body. It's very doable. Because if you ask yourself, do I have 10 minutes a day? That's an absolute heck yes you do. So it goes back into um, just finding it simple and easy for you. What is sustainable at this time? And, um, and then it's that domino effect, all right? How we feel about ourselves and going into everything else. So let's get yourself on a routine. That's it, just starting with something simple. Say a number right now to yourself of how many minutes you can put into a workout or you can put into meal prepping or eating healthier. So one thing I want to help out with, especially this is kind of more of a nutrition video here. So um, this is really what I eat in a day and I want to show you how simple and very little time this actually takes me. As I think most of you know, I am the owner and co-founder of Booty Bands and Barbells. So as I am building my own brand, I'm also working 12, 14 hour days building five others. So I have a total of six companies. I'm, I'm um, uprooting and building and um, on top of that I still plan in my workouts and eating healthy and building a giant community so being able to have that time a lot of people go how do you do it well one thing to obviously um, do it is by staying healthy if you're not hydrated and you're not eating healthy you're really gonna go low on energy so I really keep that's my number one thing is I keep my mindset and my nutrition very very up as you can see, I start my day off with oatmeal. And the thing is, is I really don't like doing dirty dishes because that's even more time, right? So check out how simple this can be. I literally just place oatmeal with a bunch of my favorite toppings because I wanna make sure it's got a, enough protein in there. So I make it super protein packed. Sometimes what I'll even do to even make it more protein packed is mix oatmeal with um, half of it with um, quinoa. 
So I'll cook a bunch of quinoa, like in the you know meal prep, in the week that you can. And it doesn't take very long to make a big batch of it, but what that does, making something big, then you can just scoop a little bit out as your day goes. So I do about, let's say, a half a scoop of quinoa, a half a scoop of oatmeal. I put all the fun toppings on it, such as nuts and seeds and things like chia seeds, hemp hearts, you can do uh, coconut flakes, peanut butter. I do a protein powder, like a half a protein powder scoop. And then I'll choose berries as my fruit that I usually kind of stick more to berries. It gives you an idea that, that I don't have to dirty any dishes except obviously the quinoa that I did previous. And then now to actually heat the oatmeal, all I do is pour hot water in this and I literally run out the door. So I can run out the door, pour, uh, it, boil hot water, boil it on it, or if you even have one of those water stands where you can actually just pour the hot water into it, that's what I do, super simple. The first thing I do next is go into like some sort of on the go, right? I'm running from my warehouse back to my office, et cetera, et cetera. And so I have booty balls, um, otherwise known as like protein truffles that are absolutely phenomenal and I, I have given the recipe out. Basically what you do is you just take some sort of base, it could be dates, it could be raspberries, it could be peanut butter, almond butter, something that kind of has a sticky consistency. Let's say if it was dates, you had a little bit of water in there, right? So it's got this kind of sticky consistency. And then what you do is you just throw in your favorite healthy toppings. You can go pumpkin seeds. Uh, my favorite is to uh, bake oats. Um, like a big old tray of baked oats and I'll throw that in there. I'm like a half a scoop of protein powder and um, just load it up with like the hemp hearts and the coconut flakes and all that good stuff. And you can even sprinkle a little cacao in there, um, little, give it that chocolate flavor. You can add a little vanilla extract and you know, and just kind of make it like a no-bake cookie essentially is what it is. And you don't have to cook it. All you do is blend it into like a speed blender and then you can just roll it up in balls. And then um, if they're sticky on the outside, you can just roll them into something like, let's say cacao powder or coconut flakes, whatever it is, basically all the toppings, you can just kind of roll itself into there, right? That's a great on the go, or it could just be as simple as a protein bar or even personally, my favorite is a very simple protein shake. You'll see me running around with a protein shake all the time, along with my huge giant water bottles. Next topic to bring into as far as being time efficient is running around with a water bottle that's not just a small one. You'll see me, I always kind of carry like either a half a gallon or a gallon's worth of water. And so that way it's always on me. I don't have to sit and refill it every day, but at least I get my water in. And now, now I don't get headaches and I've got tons of energy because that's what dehydration does to you is dehydrate you and just deplete you of energy. So I make sure I'm super hydrated throughout my day. Huge important key there. What I really love to do is make tacos. And again, I meal prep and I do this all like a, a week a week in advance so that I just have everything in just big containers. So, so far you've seen I have a quinoa big container. And then um, the next thing I do is I make the insides of the tacos and I'll meal prep that. And that is so, awesome you guys I can't I say this all the time it is just a great fast way to get protein and vegetables in and it tastes amazing so here's what it is you take a blender and you can put all of your favorites you can chop up onions you can chop up peppers you can chop up garlic garbanzo beans mushrooms you can do a zucchini squash and just kind of make this big massive array of all of that and then you just season it however you want. I'll do like a little onion or garlic powder, some like basil seasoning, just kind of add a little bit of some fun zest in there, sprinkle it with a little bit of some like sea salt and then put that in a taco and just sprinkle it with some my favorite hot sauce. And it is so absolutely amazing, not only if it's for lunch or for dinner, but it's just phenomenal and I feel like my waist gets smaller and smaller every time I do that. And then usually around dinner time, I just load up on salads. Again, this is something I meal prep and I do the night before to save time. Uh, just make a giant container of salad so that it is just on the go, ready, and just awesome. So in this salad, you can see that it consists of uh, chickpeas, black beans, tomatoes, uh, spinach. I love basil in my salad. But just sitting, um, cutting up all that stuff is actually really not only affordable, but it will save you tons of time throughout the week when it's just already and on the go. So 
If there's anything to take away too, um, I really want to leave you with this, is sometimes if you're not able to meal prep, maybe you're so busy that meal prepping isn't even an option. Obviously you want to get to that because that is going to be the healthiest way and to keep it so it's financially sustainable for you. But let's say you're on the go and there's just no way that you've been able to meal prep, you didn't really prepare the night before, I highly recommend um, being able to have a network of restaurants that you know that are healthy, that you can call at any time and say, hey, I want this awesome uh, Mexican salad um, on the go, I'll pick it up in five minutes. And what happens is a lot of people only have in their roster of restaurants is McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger Kings and things like that is fast. But actually a lot of healthy places can be fast. So I challenge you to look outside the box, look outside of fast food and look into some other spots that can be available and you can just call in those orders and go and pick them up. And that alone can save you a lot of time too. So hopefully this helped you. I wanna be able to really leave you with um, bringing things down to um, instead of an expectation that things have to be so hard, really find solutions on how, and hopefully my solutions are able to help you and give you a little piece of value that you can take with you and go into your health journey. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being in my community and excited to see your transformations, your progress, and that we keep it forever, that it's sustainable. So awesome. Bye you guys. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.